Hey everyone, welcome to Hometown Mentors. My name is Aaron. And I'm Yosef. So after you picked your college, there's actually a number of things you have to complete before you come to campus in the fall. One of those things is putting in a deposit for your college. Uh, colleges want to make sure that you're dedicated and committed to them. So they usually require you to put in like a few hundred dollars to confirm that you'll actually be attending that college in the fall. You also have to like set up accounts, your email address, and maybe a double verification that you'll have to sign in for your account. So make sure that you stay on top of that and check your emails, even if you didn't use your email that much before in the past. And make sure you're on top of that, as well as email your admission directors or anybody else that you can reach out to to make sure that you're on top of that before you come to campus. It's also never too late to start browsing classes. Uh, there's usually a catalog online of all your college's classes, so you could start browsing around. On top of that, you'll probably have to take placement exams to see where you stay or like what classes or courses that are recommended for you. And that can be like for English, math, or uh, the languages. And uh, for example, if you took Spanish in high school and maybe uh, after like senior year you were kind of like kind of chilling out before college started, you might want to like revamp your Spanish skills and stay on top of that. And some colleges will also have music theory exams. And so um, just make sure that you stay on top of those exams so that you can place into the classes that you want to and make sure that you're giving like an honest effort in uh, the courses that you should be taking in your freshman fall. It's also important to start thinking about what meal plan you're going to choose. Colleges will usually ask you how many swipes into the dining hall you want. Swipes is basically how, how many meals per day that you want. If you're living at home while going to college, then maybe you might only want one or two swipes into the dining hall per day because you can eat the rest of your meals at home. However, if you're going to college away from home, then you're going to want to purchase three meals a day because you don't want to learn on an empty stomach. Also, some colleges will offer you a set amount of money that you can use at restaurants and stores in the local vicinity. And sometimes you'll also be able to get discounts at these restaurants. So definitely keep that into account when you're looking for meals um, during your course load and during your study. So once you have an idea about how much your food is going to cost, how much your books are going to cost, then maybe start looking into loans. Avoid the banks that are predatory and you should instead look for loans that are friendly to students and have low interest. It's also really important to start looking for jobs and work study jobs. And a lot of these jobs are very accommodating to the time that you need to also study. And so you can like work an hour here, an hour here, and it's really accommodating to your schedule. So definitely start looking at those and talk to your financial aid officer that can help you get started with that. You know, there are a lot of important things you have to do this summer before you arrive to college, but the summer before college should also be fun. You know, try to go onto the Facebook, your college's Facebook group, and start connecting with people that may potentially be your future roommates. And it might sound very cliche, but it is really important to start soul searching. Like, what do you want to study? Like, where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? Set these long-term goals so that when you go into college, you're not always as worried about like, oh, what am I going to do next? You're not going to become overwhelmed with all the classes that you might, but at least you'll have like an idea of like what you want to become in life and maybe a, a better direction of how you want to end up after college. If you want to be a journalist, then maybe go to your local news station and see if you could intern for them. If you want to be a politician, maybe you can be a page for a senator. If you want to be a doctor, maybe you can call up your primary care physician and ask to shadow them. Also, don't stress over this. You have time. You have respect of two years or four years to kind of figure this out. And people always change back and forth. Uh, anybody that's very adamant about what they want to do in college more than likely doesn't really have it figured out. So don't be pressured by other people that kind of seem like they have it figured out because it's yourself. You want to take time for yourself to figure out what you want to do in the future. Who are you? What are your values? What's important to you? You know, you may have not had a lot of time for all this reflection in high school amidst tests and everything else that you had to do, but now your summer is wide open. Thank you, that's it from Hotel Mentors, and if you like this video, please subscribe.